Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we're talking about your Calendly account and more specifically, I'm going to quickly answer a question. I keep getting a lot on my other video and that is how do you update or add your logo into your Calendly account? So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off guys, real quick video, not too many steps involved. So be sure to stick around to the end of the video, but why would you want to add your logo into your Calendly anyways? Well, that's pretty easy. If you're making money online and you're using Calendly as your landing page to schedule your appointments, you know that it's important to keep your branding consistent throughout all of your properties. Whatever the case is, it's a pretty easy process. It's handled here in your Calendly account. Check my video description. I'll try to leave all the written instructions there as well, but I've already logged into my Calendly account here. Now, in order to go ahead and update or even add in a logo to your Calendly account, what you want to do is click on your profile icon here on the top right. You can see mine is just an S. Once you click there, you will see a drop down menu. And in order to add a logo, you want to click on this button here called branding. Okay. So once you click there, you will be in the branding section of Calendly. And here is where you can go ahead and add a logo. So what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and click on this button here called upload image. Okay. Once you click there, you can go ahead and choose your logo. So I'll choose this one right here and then click on open. Okay. So now you can go ahead and crop your logo for Calendly. So you can go ahead and shrink it down, maybe pull it a little wider or maybe just a section. So this one looks good. And then you want to click on apply. Okay. Now you're going to see an image of what your logo will look like on your Calendly appointment setting page. And if all that looks good to you, go ahead and click on save changes here on the bottom left. All right. Now it sets me know that the settings have been saved. Okay. So now when someone goes to my Calendly page to set up an appointment, they are going to see my logo across all of those scheduling pages. So there you have it guys. If you're wondering how to update or change your logo in Calendly, that's the easiest way I know how to do it. If you know an easier way, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know how you did it. Hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel and I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.